What is going on, everybody? DJ Mind here. Okay, guys, listen. So I just listened to the Ethereum Core Dev Meeting number 137. This is on April 29th, and this is the date that we thought we were going to hear about the merge being delayed. Not so much the delay, but we were going to get a specific date for that delay. That was kind of the excitement there. Now, if you do want to torture yourself, I'll put a link for this. It is an hour and 30 minutes, and just trust me, it's not worth your time. At least the first hour was really not worth your time at all. So a few weeks ago, Ethereum developer Tim Bako, I hope that I'm saying that correctly, he announced that the merge would not be happening in June. So obviously that created a lot of hype for us as GPU miners. Everybody was very excited. And in one of his tweets, he announced that on 29th of April, we would actually have a date. So today is that day. We all were very excited. We've been waiting for this and we really found out not much at all. My feeling throughout the dev call was really avoidance. It felt like they didn't want to answer the question. Anytime that someone on the panel brought up, hey, we should set a date. Hey guys, you know, people want to know, right? And the other guys would say, nah, 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 I don't want to commit. Uh, let's just go every two weeks. Let's just have a meeting every two weeks. I don't want to set a date. Which was when we thought we were setting it back here in December. And it looks to me like it's going to, it's getting ready to drop off the cliff to me. I'm just looking at this. Now, I never wanted to predict the future because predicting the future of this thing is hard, but I can see that we're getting to the point where it might start dropping off the cliff. So I want to just say that out loud and I want you to be careful. I would rather see you guys at least pick a date to say, we are going to make a decision about picking a date by this day, you know, say, May 15th, we're definitely going to have a decision about whether we're going to delay it or not, because you don't want to get to the place where you're forced to delay it because it went from 18 second blocks to 22 second blocks in a two week period. That's what I would say. Right. And I think, yeah, I, I think we'd probably make that call much before we hit like 18 seconds. Um, I think, sure. yeah, I, yeah, that, that's has to be pretty low, but I, I guess because there is kind of this this chance that we might actually be able to ship the entire upgrade without moving back the bomb um right. probably waiting until we're in the like 14ish second range maybe 15 to see like how we're feeling about this and then yeah. and then that means you know by the time we coordinate it takes a you know maybe a period or two and we we end up like maybe in the like 17ish 18 second range by the time we've pushed it back um, yeah. So yeah, I, that, that's my I, I don't know rough like gauge for it. I don't know if that feels reasonable to other like yeah. Yeah, I think I think yeah. if, if you set a date by which you're going to set a date, you know, you say yeah. we're going to make a decision by the third week of May or something like that. Yeah, I, yeah, and I think the risk is just uh, I I just don't want to paint us into a corner where like we're then forced to act if say the bomb is not actually showing up as as like we'd expect so. I, if, if we do, you know, say we can get like an extra four weeks without having to make a decision yeah. or an extra six, like, I, I think every week where we can delay making that call is, is valuable to us because it gives us more information on the readiness of the merge. And then they would say things like, even if it does get delayed, I don't really want to announce that until that time happens. And so, yeah, it was really a lot of avoidance. And obviously everyone is wondering, you know, people like us, the miners are wondering, people who are investing in Ethereum and want to see it prosper, which I don't, but other people do want to see it do well. To me, it felt like they were just kicking a can down a hill and they just do not want to directly answer the question, which is again, what everybody wants to know. The only thing that people even care about in these calls is when is the merge happening it doesn't matter if you're a miner or an investor or whatever that's the only thing people care about and when then when someone finally asks that question you just duck and weave and oh yeah yeah uh, i don't want to commit to that uh yeah the uh, next question and in fact the guy even said around an hour and 23 minutes like uh yeah i don't really like that conversation like what are you talking about that's literally the only reason we are here i felt like this meeting was so unnecessary unorganized organized and it didn't even feel professional to me somebody would say something or ask a question and it'd be like five to ten seconds of dead space no one speaking there was like 36 37 people on the panel and maybe three or four of them would even say anything like what are all these people doing here the host i mean i don't want to say them by name but the host come on man let's get some organization let's get to the point this does not need to be an hour and a half and i understand this is like the devs meeting together but you said a whole lot of nothing i'd be quite literally 
literally you just kept saying the same stuff that we've heard a hundred times get to the point when is the merge let's find out what's really going on so there is one bit of information that I have learned throughout this conference call, and I believe Vitalik was the one who said it, and he said every 100,000 blocks, the bomb will continue to adjust itself. The difficulty bomb has actually started. So actually, guys, you don't need the merge to happen for the difficulty bomb to happen. If you're new to crypto mining, what that means is you're going to be getting rewarded less and less. That doesn't mean that the merge has started, though, but it does mean you should continue over time to get less and less payouts or Ethereum. And obviously that hurts all of us so yes will the merge be delayed just the way that they were talking just the tone of their voices and the lack of enthusiasm it sounded like they're just going to continue the difficulty bomb adjusting that or really the system will kind of adjust itself and we'll all kind of get less rewards over time regardless if the merge happens or not in my opinion the reason that they don't want to announce an official date is because they don't want to be embarrassed they have been embarrassed time and time again with ethereum i haven't been crypto mining that long but people always tell me the ethereum merge has been going on for years and years e 2.0 they have heard that four years ago right so they don't want another quarter or another year another six months of embarrassment i genuinely think that's what it is i'm sure when they're not streaming they're talking about it man they're like man everybody keeps giving us pressure in fact i heard them talking about pressure and they kept saying it, it's too much stress on them to give a date because if they don't meet that date and everybody is going to go crazy the price is going to drop so instead again they just want to dodge the question left and right instead of avoiding what we all want to hear i get the feeling that they're being intellectually dishonest by hiding the information i mean you said june originally and then we were told well it is tweet or twitter so it's not official but we were told we would know the date today and then eh, we'll know in two weeks we'll reevaluate and one of the guys said hey why don't we at least give the people, you know, three meetings from now, we'll give you a date. The other guys would say, ah, no, nah, no, nah, we can't commit to that, guys. Let's not commit. He's like, but I think it'd be good for the people to know, like they should expect on this date, we'll know, ah, no, no, I don't think so, guys. And so everybody kind of went with that. Like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't, it'd be best. Let's not get any stress, you know. We're just playing with all the crypto miners' money and well-being and investors' money. Nah, nah, guys, let's not give them any information. Like, come on, man, what are you doing? Grow up a little bit. And this is one reason that I really don't support Ethereum. I don't like Ethereum in any ways. In fact, why I'm changing my DJ minds flag here and really all my merchandise i'm gonna make this a bitcoin because it's out with ethereum it's gonna be behind me and bitcoin moving forward or other coins you know what i mean and personally i know that's not really what this video is about but i just don't like anything about ethereum when i listen to flux dev calls when i listen to ravencoin in fact or Firo, i i feel like wow i want to be part of this project i love this project but when i listen to ethereum it's a joke it just feels like a mess. It's it's embarrassing to see. How are you the second biggest crypto on earth and you can't even give us a date? Like, let us know what's going on, man. It's not just about, you know, can you get this to proof of stake? Like, what about everybody else who supported you throughout that? Obviously, that wasn't me because I've only been doing this for like a year or so. But the people who've been supporting the project for years, let us know what's going on and stop kicking the can down the hill and keep saying, uh, two weeks, we'll just talk again. Like, no, how about you? <laughs> We're talking about billions of dollars here. How about you let the freaking people know what's going on? Anyways, guys, like I said, if you want to watch it, feel free by all means if you want to go to sleep by listening to that go ahead but guys you're not going to learn anything besides the difficulty bomb has started and it could get worse and worse for us gpu miners if that does happen i personally think i need to reevaluate my strategy at this current moment i'm going to continue going with ethereum getting paid out in bitcoin but you know if these if it gets worse and worse over the next week or two or month then yeah, I'm probably going to start looking at other coins even before the merge because it just won't be worth our time. We have a very active Discord. Link for that will be in the description below. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Until next time, everybody, DJ Minds signing out.